Ah, oh, yes, Splatoon, one of my favourite video games. With the new game right around the corner, I thought I thought I should make a video talking about some storyline stuff and some views for Splatoon. And I thought of some stuff that, in my opinion, Nintendo should make. So let's dive into the ink and look at some stuff that I just conjured up in my brain and put on a Google Doc. Let's go. If you saw the Splatoon 3 gameplay trailer, you probably saw how there's colours and patterns around the people who are loading into the match's game attack. Personally, I think they're going to be clans that you can join or create. They can probably be special game modes that you can do and participate in with people in your clan to maybe level up the rank of your clan. I don't know, just speculation. The octolings are, are specially, species similar to the inklings, but instead of being a squid, they're octopuses. After losing the Great Turf War, they were forced into underground domes constructed by the humans to survive the Great Flood, which started after a war when someone dropped a nuclear warhead on top of the polar ice caps. But still the humans died. Since they live underground, they can't really reproduce power, so they have the trade agreement with the salmonids. The octolings give equipment to the salmon, and the salmonids give power eggs to the octolings. Since the eggs weren't enough to fuel a large society, the octolings stole the great zapfish, but, but you get it back in hero mode 1 and hero mode 2. The octolings in the Great Turf War won the first battle because the squids didn't get get up early enough to fight, which I find quite funny. Well, I personally think that Nintendo should make some sort of Great Turf War log. It could be a journal of an entry in it from a Turf War soldier, or a log of all the major stuff that happened in battles taken by a military leader, and some of the weapons of mass destruction used by the Inklings and the Octolings. Just a thought. Write down in the comments what you think. Another thing about Splatoon 3. I think that it's in France, because you saw the upside down Eiffel Tower. I know that there are replicas in different countries, but by the size, I think it's the one from France. So, yeah. Can't tell me I'm wrong about this, but the Splatoon 3 hero mode music is bussin'. Listen to it. Can't tell me I'm wrong about this, but the Splatoon 3 hero mode music is bussin'. Listen to it. all of you have seen the Splatoon 3 gameplay trailer by now. It looks pretty cool, but I'm worried I'm worried that the bow is going to be like the range blaster, because in the trailer you can see that the bow sh like one shot someone, and I'm scared about that. And also, make sure that you pre-order Splatoon 3. It's coming out on the 9th of the 9th. That's, which is pretty cool. So Nintendo, please don't delay. So thanks for listening to my Splatoon Ramble. I hope you have a great day. Quality of the video and the gameplay. I wasn't playing the best today, but it is what it is. I'll promise to make better gameplay videos.